G'day everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a bottle jack. Not just any bottle jack, this bottle jack dates back to 1967. It is called Lightburn Hydraulic Jack. There's a reliable Lightburn Hydraulic Jack in every garage. That was their slogan. There was 15 models to choose from. Mine just so happens to be the A3 and there's not a lot of serviceable parts on it. Um, it looks like they kind of just put it in, like built it in one half of the, the model here and just welded it shut and all you can change is the seals and that. So we're going to check the seals and um, if they're good then that's great, we're, we're laughing. But yeah, let's get into it guys. Ugh. All right, so what I can see is that you can't go any further than that in like, oh, well, well, there you go, there you go. Wow, okay, did not expect that. Alrighty, what, what the heck? Um. Right, all right, whoa, that's pretty cool. I'll come show you what this looks like. Looks pretty clean inside, just a bit black and oily. Don't see any breakages, no metal, little metal fragments you see floating around, you don't see any of those. And this is such a reliable jack. Empty all this, oh, 1967 oil. Damn, this is uh, black as, as black can get. Fair amount of oil in here. Okay, this is the plunger. All nice and clean. It is very straight. Bit of hair in it. And there's the rubbers. I don't see any like, you know, cracks or wear and tear on them. Um, they look pretty good. I reckon they'd still do the job. Maybe we could just give it a clean, I don't know. I finally got this off. Jeez. I do believe it's been knocked around the edges too much in it and it took a while to come off. There is a... Not 100% sure. I think we might have to just leave it, unfortunately. That's all right, well, at least we know there's no oil, there's no oil coming out, like splashing out. So at least we know the seal is okay, just like this one. We tried, so we'll just put it back in.
did the clear coat looks great except for one little problem okay clear coat looks absolutely awesome nice and shiny looks great but when you come around here something's reacted to something else what why does it have to crackle up like that what what's going on does anyone know why this happens it, it's only in this one section this one small little bit on this spine here I cleaned it I gave it a sandpaper exactly how I did that side but this is cracked for some reason I don't know why I'm just gonna let it set overnight then I'll sandpaper it smooth this out and if most of the orange paint's gone I'll have to I don't know respray it or, or blend it in somehow but I'll do that and then recoat it so it's the very next day and I have made the repairs have a look, it's really cool. What I did was I sanded it smooth, two to three coats of orange, sanded the whole thing and gave a good clear coat. And I, I'm really glad you guys made it this far. It's been a really awesome journey. It's been a bit difficult because we ran into a couple problems, but that's okay. We, we ironed them out. But if you enjoyed this, do hit the like button, comment on what you would have done probably different and below if, or if you enjoyed, and possibly subscribe to the channel to see some more awesome content. <laughs> but um, yeah, up next, the montage. I'll see you guys in the next video.